Thank you very much, all of you five people. Thank you. Uh, it is Friday, everybody. <laughs> That's a great reaction. That is, you don't, you don't understand. That is a great reaction. There's only five people here. So. Uh, let's get to the news and jokes. Uh, well, guys, last night was the start of the NFL season, and I gotta say, it was, it's kind of strange to see a live sport event with fans in the crowd. Uh, I was a little worried at first until I saw the crowd at the president's rally in Michigan last night. Yikes! I need a nasal swab just from looking at that. <laughs> if you're trying to figure out how many Bob Woodward tapes we need for people to take COVID seriously, it appears the answer is more than 18. What are they doing? Even the cardboard cutouts at Major League Baseball games are more spread out than that. Can we see that photo again? Wow. That's a, that's a lot of white people. Looks like a mosh pit at a Kenny G concert. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, <laughs> dude, once he goes into Songbird, it's like, whoa! <laughs> Uh, people are calling last night's rally. Uh, Can we do that? <laughs> we should. I moshed the Kenny G. Oh, I would totally mosh Kenny G. I, 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 last time I tried moshing, I went to like I want to say like one of the later Lollapaloozas. And I was like, I can handle myself. I can mosh. That's cool. I could. That's totally cool. Let's get in there. And dude, I got a boot to the head. And I was like, too old. Too I wore, old. I wore Birkenstocks to see Henry Rollins. <laughs> no, that was the end of that. Never again. <laughs> You, you lost three toes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was like, old guy, old guy in the mosh pit, old guy. Just get the old guy out. They carried me out. That's uh, right. People were calling last night's rally a super spreader event. When he heard that, Trump was like, amazing. Even CNN said it was super. <laughs> and everyone's talking about this moment from the rally. Did you see this yet? Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. So Trump uh, is trying to go through the history of Michigan, but he, he stumbled over the word Motown. Check it out. Michigan gave us Motang. Gave <laughs> us Motown. Gave us the Mustang. <laughs> Mo Motang. All of the Motangs, great artists like Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gang, and the Jacks Gang Five. <laughs> Who could forget <laughs> the great Motown song, Papa Was a Roping Stone? <laughs> I'm just gonna do a million of these, man. <laughs> Trump was like, I even love all the rappers in the Motang clan. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Michigan gave us Heidi Motang, Spencer, Elsie, and of course, Brody Jenner. <laughs> Later on, Trump said, Motang, of course, began in the great city of Detroit. <laughs> Right after that, Yosemite National Park was like, damn, you too? Yeah. yeah, Trump mispronounced Motown as Motang. It was a simple mistake, but to prove that he's actually a huge fan of Motown, he released this message. Take a look. I'm Donald J. Trump, here to talk about all the fantastic artists that came out of Motown. Artists like Betty White, <laughs> the Burrito Supremes, Orville Redenbacher, <laughs> Marvin, word Mike Pence won't say, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, Blade Plugins, and my personal favorite, Eats Dominoes. <laughs> Later in the rally, Trump mentioned an award that he's won in the past that I didn't really know about. Watch this. Well, I was honored in Michigan. Does anybody know that? I was given Man of the Year award by somebody. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't remember the Michigan Man of the Year awards, there's a reason. They, they don't exist. <clears throat> His staff was like, when he's in a bad mood, we just give him a trophy with a post-it note on it. Just hey. <laughs> Trump just making up awards. Like, I was named Michigan's Man of the Year, Wisconsin's most stable genius, and Ohio's sexiest man alive. Trump said he was given the award by somebody. Honestly, the only thing foggier than that claim is Andy Reid's face shield. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of awards, the Trump campaign tried to celebrate the president's Nobel Prize nomination on Facebook, but they had some trouble with the spelling. This is real. Look at what they posted. They spelled Nobel wrong. No. That is real. No. They spelled no. 
Trump saw that and was like, you idiots, it's prize with an S. <laughs> <laughs> And get this, uh, during a White House press conference yesterday, Trump started talking about the TV shows that he watches. It was a pretty long list. Listen to this. I watch some of the shows. I watched Liz McDonald. She's fantastic. I watched uh, Fox Business. Uh, I watched uh, Lou Dobbs last night, Sean Hannity last night, Tucker last night, Laura. I watched uh, Fox and Friends in the morning. That's, that's seven hours of TV he's listening. It would have been quicker to just name the shows on Fox News he doesn't watch. Everything but Chris Wallace. <laughs> yeah, at the end of every night, Trump's TV turns to his phone and goes, okay, your turn. <laughs> hey, check this out. I saw that Starbucks just made a pretty big announcement. Listen to this. Starbucks is getting rid of straws on most of its ice drinks. The coffee giant is rolling out so-called sippy cup lids for the beverages. Here's an idea. If you want this to catch on, maybe don't call them sippy cups. Uh, we got a little baby sippy cup for Jeff. <laughs> sippy cup for Jeff. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at Dunkin' Donuts, they'll give you a straw that comes packaged inside two other straws. But don't worry, the plastic straws aren't going to waste. Starbucks said that they will be melted down and turned into breakfast sandwiches. <laughs> Here's something kind of surprising. I heard that Oscar Mayer is offering up its iconic Wienermobile for people's marriage proposals. Here's the actual promotional photo. <laughs> yep. Oscar Mayer says uh, they'll keep uh, loaning it out until one of the proposals ends with a yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into this. It's a great way to show your future wife that she should be the one who handles the money. And finally, the St. Louis Zoo says a python just laid seven eggs, but check out why it's making headlines. This 50-year-old python shocked zookeepers by laying eggs. It was surprising because she hasn't been near a male snake in 15 years. When the news broke, the iguana in the next exhibit was like, look, it was late, we were drunk, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Meanwhile, one zookeeper was like, please don't look at the security footage, please don't look at the security footage. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I said, and it's on.